Quite the lift, Mac. <laughs> It's better. It hasn't been easy to get to this point at all. <laughs> it is not. But this is the build episode. We're going to run you through how this is possible. Let's get stuck into it. Can I have a nap here? Because I'm buggered. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Welcome to the... Oh my god. Oh. Super cheap build. As you can see, Mac has been hard at it. A lot pulled apart. <laughs> it was pulled apart. This is when you got a glass in before you start working on a bloody car. Basically, I'll run you through what we're gonna plan to do now because we've got a pretty good idea. Yes, well, if we uh, carry the one, uh, dot the T's, and we'll uh, have ourselves a flexi boy Jeep. <laughs> so, uh, Sam come around, so he goes, You've never been to Cape Art? I said, Nah. He goes, You know, it's got nothing to do with flex, hey? It's like touring and just hitting corrugations. There's like two tracks up there. And I went, No, but hey, we're gonna have a flexi boy Jeep anyway. So, <laughs> doing long arms. Well, we were kind of, we kind of need to fix this depth level issue. Had to fix that anyway. So, long arms, adjustable uppers, that'll fix our caster. Fingers crossed, that'll fix our depth level because we're actually going higher. But that, that was my thinking there's higher we can get it out of the water, the less chance it's gonna die in the water. Yeah, because it's a Jeep after all. It's a Jeep and it's petrol. Bad news, the diff lock, E locker we got for the rear won't work. It's for about a 35, not a 44. They didn't have a 44. Um, they sent that out hoping it was correct, but it wasn't. Good news is we might have a front E locker, so it's on the way. Rear, I'm gonna try and chase up an LSD. We can weld it, <laughs> but then I'm worried we'll break shit, so. Fridge slide, the internal fit out coming, the rear swing. We got new shocks all around. We got all this stuff sitting right here. We got snorkel stuff. We've got... I'm trying to get these long arms finished first. And shock mounting in the front because we're changing the shock mounts to suit the patrol pin to pin. Bump stops are working a treat, thank God. These things. 80 series progressive bump stops. Yesterday I did a little run. We I ran down the fat bars and they gave us the tubing for the snorkel. I dropped in Superior and bought a full set of shock and we'll hopefully make the whole thing drive so much better. Basically to make this cape ready, we decided it was important to either have a winch or a rear locker at minimum, as you saw from my testing video. So at least, at least we've got the winch, you know? Potentially we've got the front locker as well. So anyway, it's coming together, coming together. Now we've got room for a win. There better be style points in this rear comp this time because we got stitched up last time. Oh, tell me that. Because if they were style points, we would have won. Those other teams need infringement notices. Oh, man. <laughs> Freaking <laughs> ugly cars. Bloody up. I wasn't actually expecting a winch to go on, but it's going to be a bonus if we have a winch on. Surprise winch. after surprise for TJ. It is, mate. You've outdone yourself. Should we uh, introduce Dan here? Oh, yeah. So Dan, <laughs> Dan is from Metamorphic Laser. He does all our laser cutting. It's gonna be very extremely handy when I start building K trucks and four links and long arm brackets for Jeeps and cradle. <laughs> Winch cradle. Dan just starts running straight up. My job is to get the front guards off because uh, Berkey ran into them. He did replace it for us. Yeah, he uh, did. He's yeah. top line. He didn't come off our budget. <laughs> he's actually too nice, he didn't need to. But he did replace the guards. Anywhere. Oh. <laughs> All right, we're officially building the Jeep. James has come to help. We got <laughs> fresh set of guards just turned up. Never mind, walk right past me there. So obviously these are a stock guard, so we have to cut it again because ours were cut. So we have to figure that out. There is a wrecking yard here. Did you know? Just gotta walk over the tires. <laughs> Over some more 35s. Where are these guards? <laughs> there they are! Yeah. Just exactly where Mac left them. <laughs> Jesse can't ever have to do it again. <laughs> We're off! That's a very weird thing for Mac to keep in. Gonna use these and trace and they give us a pretty much exactly the same as we used to have. 
Run your tape down, saves the pain a bit when you cut it, I believe. If I go all the way over, then I think it's a bit of lawn. Are you going to cut that? I'm going to have to cut that. Yeah, I, yeah, I reckon go hard that way, it would be better. Hard, so I'm just going to make that space yeah. We're going hardcore. Oh yeah. It might seem a little extreme doing the long arm suspension, but freaking everything's old and wrecked anyway, so we might as well do the full gnarly upgrade and yeah, it'll be a weapon after that. Long travel in the front. Oh, the mad scientist. Creating. This is exciting. Dan said, he, Dan's always said, let's make cool shit, so we're, we're making cool shit. Basically just come down to see Dan at Metal Morphic because he's cutting up our custom brackets for the long arm suspension. Without him, not really possible. So, kind of lucky that we've uh, got Dan on side here. He's gonna get it out of some scrap metal, you know, keeping it budget. But yeah, let's go see how it works. Scrap pile, mate. Hey, mate. <laughs> Job's just like this one. Budget building. <laughs> Shape we're cutting, obviously. Yeah, mate. Uh, it's gonna come right out of this bit. Alrighty, so this is a piece for the yeah. wind cradle. <laughs> so cool. Does it come out pretty hot? Uh, warm. Warm? Like the, obviously, the thicker the material, the more heat we get. The plan is get all the pieces cut and then Mac has the job of welding it together, but we're getting through it. This is so cool. Custom winch cradle on the team. Man, so cool. Has there been much thought about how we're going to get this snorkel in? Are we going through the bonnet or the guard? It's nah, a bit tricky. Bonnet won't work because all the ECU and stuff's there. Going to come in the guard. We're going to hug the bracing because I don't want to cut too much into that because PDR will destroy it. 45 through this section here. Straight inside the box. It's a shitload of sick and flex and prey. <laughs> <laughs> My little job for today, I'm going to take this brakes off front and rear and run them down to Justin. I'm trying to close brake and clutch and get them machined. So the plan? Yep, and we'll check the pads while we're gone. We're well, going to put new pads on. We're just trying to make it reliable and you know safe for this trip. It's a big trip, so we don't want stupid stuff like this going wrong. Right, Dad. Well, yes, yes, son. Did I do a wrong? You've done a bloody excellent job. <laughs> <laughs> Got my first rotor off. Nah, no, I've done this. You've done that, please. But you can see. I don't know if you can see up close. They develop a wear edge. But they can also, what you can't see with your eyes, get a little warp. And if you machine them flat again, they, they're like new. But there's a certain amount of thickness that you're allowed to go to. Machines, oh, well done, more. <laughs> Custom long arm, is it GQ arms? GU, GU rear lowers. I just gotta move this plate back more. Yeah, I forgot that I didn't have a diff lined up, now it's lined up. Don't do a dime bag and you scream it, sometimes it turns into one. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> do you have your cool snorkel cut out shed life bit for the end of the snorkel? <laughs> Late into the night, we're still going. So, discovered up to this point the rear end very similar to a Navara. So, the coils fit in and the shocks fit in out of the rear of a Navara into this. So, I just got it. 
and it's all go. The baby's crying. Yeah, it's like Max, Max frazzled. Max doing dad life at the moment. Tonight's job is to just get the shocks in, coils in, and oh, we've got the rear bump stops in too. They're gonna work bang on, apparently, I'm told. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got your camera. Oh, that's easier. Yeah, yeah well, I've got to give the boys some presents and some cash. Should so. race on the D Max, mate. <laughs> yeah, this is the little car they picked up. Yeah. I know, how perfect was that to like, bring all that gear back? A little beat up. <laughs> so these boys just bought this from Melbourne, and we had parts in Melbourne and we needed ship. And they're like, hey, we'll just bring it back. Literally, haven't slept, just drove straight in. So we got parts quicker than ever. Yeah, dude. <laughs> So watch out for that bruise, eh? <laughs> oh, they hit a real on the way. Holy. It's been alright. Overnight parts from Melbourne. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the biggest shed soon. I know. Huh. Right. Well, today's heating up, eh, Matt? We've got Tom here. Yeah. Out of nowhere doing the concrete. Starting a new business, too. If you, hey. need, a, if you need a fuzzy. Ah, oh, there you go. Hi, mate. TJI Earthworks. Alright. So we just had a bunch of parts turn up from those boys you just saw and uh, this is a rear swing up. Pretty cool because then we won't have to put the tyre on the roof. Working on finishing off the rear suspension right now. We're getting close to having the suspension done at least. Just discovered this rear swing arm uses the same mounting points as the tow bar. So to have both, we're going to have to somehow hold them both up and then remount it. It's going to be tricky. But of course it's not meant to be easy is it? Mac had this clean, spotless. Yeah, that's all from me. Yeah. That's all from you. Yeah. Buddy TJ. My 20 minute drive at five. Yeah. Yep. Alrighty, looks like this rear tire carrier is gonna work, but we've got to modify the tow bar a little bit, cut it so that they both fit on. So, bit of a pain in the ass, but it will be worth it. Excellent. Well, it's Mac. You've outdone yourself. Oh, mate, you know, I'm getting better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can't even tell. It's got nothing to do with this bloke over here. Oh, oh. <laughs> Morgs is one of my mates I grew up surfing with, uh, and his brother Winnie. Winnie lives in WA now. He doesn't build snorkels for a living, although it looks like he does because it's very flash. But he does TIG and weld all day long. What do you build? Balustrades. Yeah, aluminium balustrades and screen privacy screens. Yeah. Starting your own business? Oh, I'm going to. Going to. I just, Got it. Well, we've been doing a lot of startups. I know. Year. Just all the boys, just lending a hand. It's <laughs> bloody great. Got the air box out, you've cut the hole for the snorkel to come through, so. Yeah, we've been busy. Well, well and truly on the way. Okay, skip to. Four inch stainless snorkel installation. <laughs> no going back. No going back now. The old sad cut your way in, weld your way out. Is it gonna work with plastic? <laughs> Sikaflex is the weld. Sikaflex will be our weld. As you can tell, we're doing the stainless straight into the original airbox. So it means you have to just cut a hole in that. Why? Because someone put a friggin' budget on this thing. Well, yeah, it's a budget. <laughs> to get a custom airbox made would be very expensive. So we're doing this for now, maybe in the future, but we'll see. It's like it's like <laughs> it's like playing with the toys. <laughs> Wagon. 
think, because that's going to get cut back here, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to get cut back to about here. Yeah, yeah. To get us on that line. Okay. Just like to thank Berkey again for the spare guard. So, <laughs> so this is our R and D guard. <laughs> nice. Yep, yep. Yep, that makes sense to me. All right. Hole saw it is. This old guard here we're going to use for R&D, which is super handy because then we can get it perfect and cut the good guard, right? Back window away for the harbour. Oh, that's a good call. Uh, where's the button for that? Alright, so that's a spare tyre holder pretty much sorted. That's a really good buy. It's a custom bracket, isn't it? And made by somebody, so it'd be a good job. He's come to defect because that's what he does. <laughs> He's the foreman. He's foreman the foreman party. He's here to defect the car. <laughs> <laughs> Some very sexy darn bags. <laughs> I will get good at TIG one day. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna. And I keep practicing. Probably mentioned all these bends before the snorkel came from Fat Bars. I dropped in the other day and uh, Tom the Legend sorted it out for us. That's where the material come from. And Max obviously organized Morgan to come and do the hard stuff. The important welding clues, as you can imagine, pretty important, but a snorkel is perfectly watertight. You can't have any small little pinholes or anything like that. Oh. So this is the OG control arm, which we just found. I'll fight you all. <laughs> These are some adjustable ones. Believe it or not, we're 140 bucks on eBay. So we now have an adjustable one. That way we can adjust the roll of the diff, which is going to adjust our caster angles. But we found out why it had a diff. That's the top arm bush. That's meant to not be flogged out like that, basically. That's terrible, eh? <laughs> nah, that is absolutely horrendous. I'm surprised we haven't died yet. And we're going to have a tight front end again. We've got new bushes in the panard, in the new panard bar. New bushes in the, they're actually a heavy duty patrol arm. We got a new steering dampener that we did last trip. <laughs> we go through the roof line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shorten that up a little bit. <laughs> it's Jason. Yeah, really? yeah, it's out of carpet, you, you can't even see it. We have here, boys, workplace health and safety. <laughs> yeah, we spread the load across the roof. I did my, I did my swims with safety yeah. work methods. <laughs> Smells like it. Is that an 80? What? It is! Have a go at it! Just interrupting this little build episode to uh, chat about this giveaway that we're doing. So, I'm building a car for you guys to win. This is gonna help us fund more content. We're gonna get crazy. I'm coil swapping it, twin locking it, snorkel, sliders, dual battery, tuning, exhaust, just building the damn thing. You can win it, it's gonna be cool. Buy a shirt or a sticker pack. So jump on the website, buy yourself a shirt or a sticker pack. More info in the episode from last week. If you're interested, check that out. There it is here. I think we're done in the back, did you know? We have a what? We've got a touring setup. What? Oh, never mind. What? Oh, hold on. The whole diggity done it! Oh, yeah! Look at that. I'll let you inspect, let you just see if I've done a good enough job, boy. Does it? Yep, push. Oh, <laughs> how far down does it go? That was, that's it. It's just a tilt one. Oh, so when the weight's on it, it stays down. Yeah. Oh. That's freaking pretty bad. Watch your fingers when you push it in. Yep. We've got we got 12 volt. I didn't wire it, but it's actually kind of tidy. It's like, I've seen worse. It's yeah. really hard to see. That's a box. This is cool. I like this. This is I really like that. Yeah. There's another one here. So I believe his name was Dan that I found all this off off Gumtree. And uh, I was kind of trying to lowball him a bit. Uh, I'm on a bit of a budget, eh? We're building this like budget Jeep for like just our YouTube channel and stuff. And he goes, oh yeah, I was, I was watching that. And I was like, oh yeah, it's sick. All of a sudden it's real cheap. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, no, all right, I guess I'll do it with the and and bath. And I was like, yeah, my man. <laughs> and he, I actually didn't buy this stuff because I was like, gosh. We, need, we just need the tie swing, the panard bar, 
and the fridge slide. And he's like, man, just I'll throw it in. So top right, absolute legend. Thanks, Dan. Not all, but a lot of car part retailers <laughs> are generally a little bit slow. <laughs> if we take pictures, we need this bush, which is this section of the diff from a 2001 all original with our rego number plate find us those parts please okay I'm and on then it. hopefully they can't stuff it up and hopefully they don't spend 10 hours behind a oh, computer asking will. rego 20 times will. what motor was it what country are you from <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh i can't have a hammer yeah it's there you hit that it's turned out it's pretty hard to get jeep parts quickly <laughs> who would have thought look we're cheating a bit with that that, that, that's pretty much bump stopped out on the other side if it reaches bump stops with these big coils in it. But that's full full length on this side. Holy! That's shot max out. The coil stays in, so we're gravy, baby. Yep. They don't go nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Modified low amount. We've gone pin to pin now, which is suits. I think, I think it's an 80 series shock. Yeah. Eight, yes. 80s and patrols are the same. Yeah, yeah, long arms working tree. Yeah, the angle. Angles are looking What's sweet. Point, yeah. Our caster angles are uh, six degrees, even at full flex. We can have another check. Or you can go on the top of your C here as well if there's a machine surface. So at full flex, we're down around the five degrees there. The driving height, we're at six, but I'm thinking about winding the top out to about eight at driving height. And then we'll be better overall. And then, yeah, we should be a happy medium. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Quite the lift, Mac. <laughs> Are you kidding? I think I've outdone myself this time. <laughs> Trying to get the cake, got no take a break. Mm, yeah, wait. Grew up in the 90s, we was watching Ricky Lake. So as always, down to the wire, like this literally, goes on Sunday to go up to Cairns. Got a new CV in so far. These are actually not too too bad to replace. You can actually unbolt the front hub assembly and just slides out. So this is hopefully gonna fix our death levels. Kim is, what are you doing Kim? I am injecting the ball joints. So. We couldn't get the new tie rod ends in time. You guys offer this service, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they inject, inject the ball joint with new plastic, isn't it? Yep. So one of those gets injected in through here, heats up, melts, forms a new cup for the ball. Yep. You grease it up and away you go. It's got a new joint. ball joint. Yeah. <laughs> Shane stuff swears by it, so I'm like, right, right let's do it. Yeah. Because they're all pretty clapped out. Too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And there's yeah. four of them, so that's, once you get movement in them, they're all gonna do this, so. So is that potentially some of the death wobble issue? Yes. Well, after watching some YouTube, his death wobble was caused from that. Yeah. And ours had more movement than he had, so. Also over here, <laughs> so Lana, I was like, hey, can you uh, can you order us some more parts? <laughs> so she kept the steering damper down sorted. Have we kept the tally of the value? Uh, the value is we just got to get it to Kate. Yeah. So <laughs> it's all fairly cheap parts, so. Yeah. I don't know what that service costs, but. It's got some lots and lots. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily half the shop's gone to Matsuri, so uh, <laughs> there's uh, always free for me. <laughs> and I'm a little bit sad that I'm not at Matsuri and I sold my drift car. Yeah, well you can't go without a car, but you sold it. But there's... Things have to be done though. There's good reason for selling it. You will find out in the future. Oh, watch this space. Watch this space, big things coming. Spider gears are out. Jamin's come down and keep me company. Big thanks to Shane and the project boys let me use the shed. Um, this is something we really needed. I have sort of fixed the death wobble. Um, it ended up being the panna bar bushes. Uh, they were a bit soft. So we'll put some harder ones in and it's, I can get over 60 now. So yeah. So I was like, sweet, uh, I'm done. Let's go, oh wait. Mm. Yeah, nah, not ready yet. Locker's done in the rear, well, mechanical locker. The service the uh, the bus and um, we're good. So, 
my fuel filter's in the back of this one. Alright, whoop, hey! Yeah. Well, that's out, there's a bit of fuel on it still. Yeah, at least there's been one kind of easy job besides getting covered in fuel. Ah, <laughs> oh, a list. Can we take it off yet? I think so, let's have a look. Long arms, long shot. Winch and cradle, snorkel, it's high swing, fridge slide, panel fit out, paint the guards, CV joints, service at a pride shack, beer, plenty, machine routers, move UHF. Problem is, is we found more that we haven't written on there. First up, we're going to go through the budget. Another five thousand dollars to spend on mod to make it ready for the Cape. Now we know we've probably gone a bit overboard with some things regard well, regarding suspension. Potentially, we've gone overboard, but poss possibly most <laughs> things actually. Yeah. Most things. Let's start the uh, the tally. Do you have the schedule, the price schedule? Yeah, it's a little rough. <laughs> Front coils. Jamin actually gave us these, so. That's cool enough, $100. It's, yeah, it's come 50 or 100 bucks. They're four inch Land Cruiser coils. Rear coils, they're off TJ's car, so. Yeah, 200 kilo. 200 kilo, MP300 coils. Fit pretty perfectly in the back of these. And the shocks, uh, we, we had his shock stops to sort of check and see if it fits, and sure enough, it's like perfect to the mount. So we got. Uh, what, a two inch lifted shock gave us three inches extra travel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's in the rear. 80 series bump stops. All round. All round. And the front shock, you missed that. Uh, I haven't done the front and rear shocks yet. Oh yeah, front shocks. So front shocks, I changed the bottom mount to a pin. Same as like a 80 series and a patrol. Yep. Um, so it's pin to pin now. Well, roughly 12 inch shock or something, I believe. We're gonna have good flex in the front. Shocks front and rear were eight hundred and forty dollars. The bump stops were three hundred and twenty dollars for four eighty series bump stops, but they are like worth they're, it. They're worth it. They're sick. We were gonna go up front locker, but unfortunately Harrop couldn't uh, get one in time. It had to come from the states, and it's an Eaton locker. Couldn't get that, so we went with the auto locker in the rear, which is an Aussie made device. A little bit noisy when you turn, they kind of click and clank, but it apparently works really well and it was really easy to put in. The winch cradle. Alright, so the winch was about a thousand bucks. Uh, it's in here. Well, it's in behind here. Um, we had these were originally a nudge bar. It's actually sandwiching the, the chads in. It's actually a really strong mount, so I basically just welded off that. Went down a metamorphic laser. Good mate of Dan. He lays it all this steel up. This is just some box section I had to brace it. He hooked us up. It was about 200, 250 bucks, I think, for all the laser cutting for that. Mm -hmm. Included also the brackets for the long arm kit. Ah, let's go over the long arm kit. So these are some laser cut brackets that are welded together. Uh, a few dime bags on there. The stock GU Patrol arm? Lower arm. Yeah, yeah. Out of the rear, out of the rear, rear of a GU. I actually got them off my mate from work because he had them sitting out the back, so I gave him a couple shirts for that. So, yeah, let's say 100 bucks. This swing arm, it's all hidden behind the bumper. It's, I found it on Gumtree in Melbourne. The whole fit out, the swing arm, the adjustable panel bar, all that was 500 bucks. Made a deal with him. So, panel bar needed bushes, diff needed bushes. Well, they're actually the upper control arm. The adjustable upper control arms are 145 bucks off eBay. eBay special, they're actually really solid. I'm amazed how cheap they are. Bushes, about 100, 150 bucks. The injection molding was about 150 bucks. And then there's just like flappy discs and paint stuff. So, another 100 bucks on that. What was it? Three, six, nine, eight, nine, ten, It's about 300 bucks in, in, in steel. There's some couplers involved and some sicker flex, which is another 30 bucks. It's got it tight, nice and flush. Yeah, it's got nice and flush and cut, and there's a bit of pinch weld involved. What's pinch weld? Pinch weld's oh, like 70 bucks. 108 all up. 108. I mean, we've still got fuel and everything to pay for yet, so that's going to get interesting. And whatever else goes wrong up there. 
Oh, TVs. Oh, TVs. That's nice. fancy. Nah, we found this. It does that, which is cool. We have the fridge slide. What do you think is? Which will fit the My Dometic fridge. And it tilts. Oh, I like it. So this, this was all included in that 500 bucks, which is the coolest part ever. Swing arm and... Swing arm. In here we have the, the go block. Right up. Which makes it nice and easy, which we can plug into, straight into here to charge it. Yep, they uh, don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of outlets, USB outlets. And a couple of those, so that's pretty cool. There's two trap doors. And that's where our tools are going. That's where all the tools are. Jump leads, because no doubt someone's going to get a dead battery. Pretty bloody cool for... I know, man. And it, was just, it was kind of a deal of century, and literally it all just pretty well dropped in and screwed in. Like. Shout out to the sponsors of this series, because it's not really possible without them. First of all, Dometic for the fridges and swags. Red Arc for the go block, that's going to power it all. GME for the radio. Copy Roger, rubber ducky! <laughs> Super important to have radios, guys, for this sort of trip. Superior suspension. The corrugations up there are going to be gnarly, so super stoked Superior's on board for that one. Of course, the Max Tracks for recoveries, mainly for the other teams, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, Jeep won't need recovery, mate. Uh, and of course, Outback Equipment, the one-stop shop where you can buy all this stuff, guys. So keep them in mind. Make sure you get behind the companies that support this series. And of course, none of this is possible without you people watching. So we're very grateful. Massive. Massive thanks to all you guys watching. Yeah. Literally, wouldn't be a series if you guys weren't watching, basically. So it's, all, it's a great cause. So yeah, one more important thing to mention, guys, this is all for charity. The winners get to donate money to their charity of choice. We're sticking with- It's gonna be us. We're gonna stick with Ronald McDonald House Charity for this one, and the others have their charities chosen. Next week, challenge episodes start. So I'm super pumped. Can't wait for you guys to see how this all went. I mean, to be honest. It has to win. Maybe we know how it all pans out. Maybe, maybe there's a reason this dash looks like this. Ooh, I don't know. Hey. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> no, you won't see me quit. I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I did. Never catch me, man, I'm gone. Cause I'll be working off the grid. Grinding through all the pain. I said I'd do it and I did. I'm the type to work until my hands fucking bleed. I'm the type to fight when others fall into their knees.